Eligible Americans could have $1,400 in their hands as early as this week with President Biden's $1.9 trillion economic relief bill set to clear the final hurdle. The House is expected to pass the revised stimulus package on Tuesday after the Senate passed its version over the weekend. Nearly 160 million households are expected to get the cash payment, according to White House estimates. Getting payments out to Americans who regularly file tax returns will be the easy part. It will be challenging, however, to get money to other groups who are eligible to receive checks this time around, including the incarcerated, those with non-citizen spouses, and relatives of those who died in 2020. In addition, the IRS will have to locate the homeless and others who fell through the cracks during previous stimulus payments. And of course, this all comes at the most busiest time of the year for the IRS, with the April 15th tax deadline a little more than a month away. Nevertheless, a U.S. Treasury spokeswoman said the Treasury Department stands ready to get the money out electronically or through paper checks as soon as Biden signs on the dotted line. Salawam. All praise, glory, and honor is due to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Kodash. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace, safety, much love, and blessing to the Akim across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and truth and sincerity and putting their lives on the line to do so. I want to say Shalom to you, brothers. I'm back in the spirit uh, with another lesson, and Lord willing, the lesson be edifying. And um, I'm going to name this uh, video something along the lines of. Uh, uh, keep the stimulus checks rolling all right and i'm going to entitle that because these uh gifts that esau continued to pump out in the uh, so-called negro latino and native american communities is helping weed out the undesirables you know because jake will take a stimulus check and these different uh benefits and goodies that esau has to offer and continue to look up to esau as a covering and study how by Shimei I was shy. And those that are in that mindset aren't fit for the kingdom of heaven anyway. All right. Because we are supposed to look to our heavenly father for all wants and needs. All right. And we do know in the curses, it says uh, that we will go to our enemy uh, for clothing, food and shelter. You know, that's all good. But Jake, uh, take it a step further. And look at Esau as being <laughs> being his Lord and Savior, man. You know, uh, instead of just an oppressor that he's under for the time being. Now, uh, as you've seen in the video, they said it comes at a time where uh, tax refunds are being filed. So Jake is about to walk around here this summer, man, with a pocket full of money uh, via their taxes and this uh, stimulus bill of fourteen hundred and fourteen hundred per dependent. Now, you know, you give Jake money, Jake don't know how to act, man. Jake Jake get wild because Jake be broke and still be wilding out, man. So when he get a little money, you know, you can't tell Jake shit. Now, all this does is further destroy our people. Now, us here uh, in the know, you know, us uh, being hopefully let these different stimulus things are going to come our way and we're going to take those things and not put all our eggs in one basket, so to speak, or trust in it, if you will. Because money is a defense. So while we're yet here, we still need the money in order to uh, defend against certain needs uh, that, we, that we may have. But we're not looking at it as um, like this is like Esau's providing something above and beyond what the Lord has in store for us. Like these other Jakes uh, that are not in the know are walking around here. Um, so this is Ecclesiastes verse 7 and verse 7. It says, surely oppression make of a wise man mad. And the key in that is a wise man. You know, those that are unwise and foolish and unlearned uh, will look at the system that they're currently in as not being oppression. Esau cutting them checks left and right. This is the third stimulus check go out. They put an extra couple of hundred dollars on Jake unemployment. You know, they um, letting them stay rent free up until a certain period of time. They'll uh, what else they're doing? They're uh, not charging interest rates on student loans. They're putting student loan payments on hold. You know, all of these things 
So Jake is sitting back looking like, hey, man, Esau may, you know, the white man, he may be all right. You know, he may not be too, he may not be too bad, you know. So they don't believe that this is still oppressing, man. So oppression will make a wise man mad, but it will make a fool uh, joyful. And you see it now, you know, with Jake. Uh, continuing on, it says, and a gift destroys the heart. These are gifts that Esau are giving. And you best believe he's not just giving it um, in good faith or with a good heart. He's looking to get some on the back end, man, for him cutting all these checks for uh, for Jake. Um, he's looking for something in return. He's going to want to chip you. You know, I gave you those. This Esau, you know, I gave you um, like three stimulus checks. You know, I looked out for you when you was down bad. You know, uh, so what you going to do for me? All right. He going to want you to take the chip. He going to want you to take the max, all of that. Because when you look at this word, uh, gift, in Ecclesiastes 7, it goes into, uh, it's like it. Uh, it's Mathana, Mathana, uh, if I'm saying it correctly, gift. And if you go into the uh, Strong's definition, it says a present, uh, specifically in a good sense, a sacrificial offering. In a bad sense, which Esau is giving gifts in a bad sense, because we know uh, the scriptures speak of Esau, words being smooth with him, butter, but war is in his heart. So he has an ulterior motive for cutting all of these checks. And Jake just like, hey, man, keep them rolling, you know, free money. But, hey, Esau, either going to want something on the back end, man. Uh, it says, in a bad sense, a bribe. And what is somebody, uh, what is a bribe? When someone gives you something in order to get what they want out of you. So um, Esau is giving you these checks and these different benefits because he's bribing you, Jakes. He's going to want you to comply with his, uh, with his orders, his new world order, uh, in return. Okay? So from there, let me go to... Um, the book of Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 10 it says for the Lord have poured out upon you the spirit oh so like you before I go there um let me get I had that word stimulus in the online etymology you know it was um yeah it says um Originally a medical term, something that galls a lazy organ. Um, but reading down, it says, From a modern use of Latin stimulus, a god, a pointed stick, figuratively a sting, a ping. Um, skipping down, it says, General sense of something that excites or arouses the mind or spirit. So these stimulus checks are arousing the minds and spirit of Jake. That's why when the first uh, check, or the first, I believe it was the first or the second check, you had Jake, Jake uh, old school Jake singing, I got my stimulus check, you know, that was an arousal. Like, yeah, Jake, Jake getting, getting aroused and, and excited about these checks, man, because that's just where the stimulus is. And while you all are getting aroused, um, in the spirit over checks, the spirit is steadily uh, rocking you, uh, Jake's to sleep, man. You know, steady rocking you to sleep because you are in a deep sleep, man. Because those gifts that Esau Edom is giving out has destroyed your heart. So uh, this is Isaiah twenty nine and ten. For the Lord Yahweh have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep, and have closed your eyes. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, have he covered. And your prophets, you know, two-thirds of you all, your prophets and your rulers, they've been covered because their, their mission is to get you to take the jab. They're campaigning for Esau for them to poison you all. They're telling you that Esau's a good man because he has these stimulus checks out for you. 
So their 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 eyes have been covered too, man. They're they're sleep too. That's like the blind leading the blind, man. Okay. Uh, and while you all are are are, are sleep, and you know, being woke to sleep by Esau Edom. There's going to be a thief to come, man, while you all asleep. That's normally when thief breaks in and steal, man. While you off guard, you know, out of town or sleep, you know. These people sleep, and the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night, man, as it says in uh, the book of 1 Thessalonians, which I'm going to get uh, right now and close out. Um, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 1. But of the times and of seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Yeah, we know it perfectly that the Lord will come in as a thief in the night. That's not. That's why we're not in a state of deep sleep. But those that are going to be taken by the thief are fucking in, in the last realm of sleep. The one with your mouth open and the drool coming out your mouth. You know? That even if you get shook, and, and, and water thrown on you, you still not getting up. You know, and these our people are man so sleep they're almost in the damn state of being unconscious, man. You know, like the Walking Dead. Uh, First Thessalonians five and two. For yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a, as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, the stimulus check, the third one coming. Oh man, we got it made. You know, that's how Jake thinking. So when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come up upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Verse 4, but ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that they, that that day should, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Yeah, we're not in darkness because we know what's going on. We see uh, Esau. A bribe from a mile away and we ain't gonna we, we gonna take the money but we gonna uh skip out on him <laughs> when it comes time for him to uh uh try to get back what he need for the money that he's dishing out you know so hey man lord willing this lesson was edifying i want to end it by giving all praise glory and honor to you how about shim how shy by shim